do you want to tell the story? Yeah, so I had an M5 and I basically was on a mountain pass in California. So I basically shot over the cliff and rode like 12 times. Mm. Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back at the Nürburgring, at Apex, to RM4, to Fabi as well. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. So today's video is also about Fabi and actually his poor life decision, that how I refer to it and some other members of Apex staff, because you know he has a Rolls Royce, he had, well he was renting the 720 I would say, right, yeah. the, the Supra, so all kinds of cool cars, and now he has his new car, which the video is all about. Can you guess what it is? Three, two, one. Ta-da! So if a Rolls Royce isn't big enough, you get a Suburban. Why, Fabi? Why? It's great. It's why? very reliable. They're great off-road. You can fit everybody in there after Corona's over, obviously. Hopefully at some point. And yeah, they're just awesome. Comfy. Comfy. Okay, so regarding reliability, some of you guys, Americans, can tell me if that thing is actually reliable, because I have no experience. I'm not going to make any judgments. Fabi's saying it is. I had one, and I never had a problem with it. Yeah, but then again, we have over there. Well, that's a British car. We I mean, have a big difference. The, the biggest burden. <laughs> Tell us, what, what's your opinion about it? Like it there. What? Which one? Tom's? Well, what, what are we talking about? Tom's car. We're, we're talking, talking about Tom's the car. Apex SUV fleet. Yeah. All bags of death. No, Every no, no. single one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of that, but it's cool. <clears throat> I, I think Apex is starting to divide in two camps Mark IV gang and SUV <laughs> gang. <laughs> Uh, well, clearly the Mark IV gang is winning uh, at the moment. <laughs> because they're not breakable. Well, yours uh, doesn't yeah. have two, doesn't it? Uh, well, it does. Technically, it will do by the time this video is sticker? published. It it's still on British plates. I so. mean, if we want to go down the Tuv route, then this is a different conversation. Yeah. <laughs> side markers, red blinkers, you know. Yeah, it's, all, it's all in the papers. It's, it's got. Uh, it's not, it's it's not going down the Tuv route, eh? Yeah. I'm not going to go on this one. Oh, thank, you, thank you very much for this constructive input, George. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Good, so tell us if it's actually re reliable. Um, other than that, honestly, why? Uh, because they're comfy. I, I love the Chevys. They're great. I love trucks. Yeah, I, I, I think it's safe to say by now that Fabia has some kind of obsession with America. Could like be, yeah. every car that Tom Shimmer went apeshit at him because he had a car of his once and he brought it back. He always converts all the <laughs> units to miles and to Fahrenheit. Yeah. Let's talk about your car. Yeah, let's take a look at it. So yes. we got um, it's a 1500. It's a 2010. So the um, it was a half ton model. The 2500s you can't really get them in Germany, and you would probably need a truck license to drive it because this is three tons empty, okay. and I think the 2500 is. More than three so and a half. So how are you MP. driving it then? Well, this one's you don't need a truck license, but for the you know they have a 2500. It's the heavy duty model. Okay. That one you it's just yeah, not for Germany. <laughs> I like how there's like the T5 van, and then there's this. And then there's me. <laughs> and then there's you. But <laughs> it's almost the same height, yeah. Yeah, but it's a lot. It's bigger. longer, yeah, <laughs> and it's more comfy. Okay. I mean, so this could be our new fuel bus, you know. Yeah. Obviously, I know like here at the Nürburgring, it doesn't matter because uh, we have only uh, all the forests and trees and all the open roads, etc. If you go to a bigger city with this. So I just took it to Reva yesterday and this one, fortunately, well, Never unfortunately, uh, in, well, in Cologne and oh, Kiel. Yeah. So it was a pretty tight parking lot. And this one, unfortunately, has a broken backup camera and no sensors right now. So it was definitely interesting getting it into a parking spot. Yeah. Even in the US, it's th they're pretty hard to park. But if you don't have a backup cam, it's pretty. Yeah. Adventurous, but like know? to find the spot, I can't. it works. It's not that bad. It's like half a meter longer than the roads. When Corona is over and we're gonna go to Amsterdam, we're not taking your car. Oh well, Amsterdam maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Amsterdam is pretty tight. <laughs> That's true. That car, it cannot be European <laughs> suited. <laughs> well, I can see we have double wishbone suspension. We do, yeah, and no rust. This car is actually from LA, first owner. Nice. Yeah. Are you going to put some Team Shimmer kinematics on it or? No, maybe a lift kit, but um, I'm not sure because then they ride like hell with the oh. lift kit on it. <laughs> I do have some plans for it though. I want to do the, all you Americans now, I want to do the cop wheels, steel wheels. Okay. And then... Oh, I like um, the shock positioning on the angle. Yeah. That's nice. Cool. And then I want to respray it or re well, wrap it black because this color is a bit... It actually says in the papers, it says... Are you honestly going to spend more money on this car? Yeah, for sure. Why? Because I want this to be, like, proper, you know? Going to upgrade the sound system, put 212-inch subs in the back, and, yeah, CarPlay and everything. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know, you tell I mean, it's going to be great content. And you can tow two GTRSs with it. Can you? Two. Yeah. Two. I think you can tow three tons with it. Really? Can you open the trunk? Yeah, we can. Oop. The good thing about this car, that here you can definitely live in here. Well, there's a bit there of a mess like in here right now, but there's a factory radio. Let's put this here. Whoop. So, oh, well, we still have oil. Some oil. We have my warning triangle, mandatory in Germany. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And where's your warning vest? My warning vest. My warning vest is in here, man. And your uh, your first aid kit. It's 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 a combined kit. Ah, it's a this combined. Oh, this okay, is combined, good. and we got the the warning vest. Vest in there. Oh, there I even go. got. Are you in tow? Yeah. If I need to pull Tom out because exactly. he got stuck. I was in about his... to say that, but you were uh, ahead of me. So. <laughs> yeah. What's that handle over there? Uh, you can remove the seats, so it's actually pretty nice. If you want to go camping, uh -huh. you just take these seats out, you fold those flat, you can put a queen size, well, not a queen size, but you can put quite a big mattress in here and just mm. camp in this thing. It's mm. pretty nice. What did you buy from Russia? Uh, no, this the is... Clouds. Oh, is it in Russian? Yes. Oh, that's funny. It's the, They retrofitted a head unit in there, but it's pretty shit. Well, let's go have a look it's, at the head unit. It's not that good. Let me see if I got the keys. Um, where are the keys? Are they in there? That's pretty nice, actually. Yeah. It's not too bad. So it's touchscreen or what? Uh, yep. I just can't find the car key right now. Hold I on. Do. Look at this massive gear lever. But what's the plus and minus? It's downshift. You can exactly. You can. It's manual shifting on this thing. It's like a pedal shifter, but it's a column pedal. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't find my key. Well, there That's you have great. it. The car is big, but the key is not. <laughs> At least there's that. So I have sunroof. Nice. We don't have a sunroof in the back. We have, that's probably a fridge. This is uh, like the airplane style uh, monitor that doesn't work currently because the head unit is not that great. Mm. So it does, it's not compatible. Do you have also like oxygen masks? No. Or Corona masks? Corona masks will have one, but you have to bring mm. your own. Yeah, just I have for my own. safety reasons, you know. I'm just still gonna get over that gear liver thing. <laughs> Let me go look where the key is, because I have no idea currently where it is. Oh, great. That's great. Is that the parking brake? That's the, the parking brake. brake. It's like the old Mercedes, yeah. That's cool. You can use it for drifting too, you know? It's like a fly-off. <laughs> is it in the back, your key? I don't know. Do you have fridge there? No, that's Come still on, armrest. Need... Yeah. Man, I told you I'm going to upgrade this. Yeah, I just got this two Are days ago. Are you going to put the fridge in there? Well, I want to put well, like a cooler in the back, but nice. not in the seat. Nice. You can put a water bath in the back probably as well. Yeah. Or trampoline. Let me go look for the key. I've you can go look <laughs> for the key while I look through your stuff. Let's see, what do we have here? That's oh, 2009 version. Okay. Actually, Tahos are very popular in Russia, I must say. Relatively popular. So, let's just grab a random stuff. Ooh, panel overview. No, not interesting. What can we... Oh, look at that. Caution. Leaving children in a vehicle with ignition key is dangerous for many reasons. Children or others could be badly injured or even killed. Ooh, they could operate the power windows or other controls or even make the vehicle move. Oh my god. The windows will function with the keys in the ignition and children could be seriously injured or killed if caught in the path of closing window. Do not leave the keys. La la la. Yeah, well, that's that's a very important lesson of the day, kids. Don't uh, actually I don't, I think do most cars come with like maybe some safety precaution that the window will stop? If you like, hmm, you tell me. I'm not. I'm. I'm not trying to stick my fingers there. I remember like a few years ago when Model X came out. The some guy was using a butt plug to demonstrate that the soft close of the doors can crush your finger. And everyone was like, "Dude, why are you using a butt plug?" And like, "Yeah, well, that's the, like the the thing that comes close to like the structure of a finger." No, it's not. But probably not. Do you have your keys, <laughs> dude? I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not having any test drive for today. <laughs> I mean, I just reparked it, so it must be somewhere. Is it in the ignition still there? No, you have it in your back pocket. No. Jacket pocket. Jacket pocket. You oh. got it? Oh, man. <laughs> yep. All right. All right, let's close the trunk, maybe. Uh. Solid, you know? It's like a G-Wagon. When you close the doors, boom. Pretty sure a couple of Germans at Stuttgart had a heart attack when you called this a G-Wagon. Well, I mean, <laughs> you're German, so you're allowed to say that. Exactly, right? Oh, look at the Christmas tree here. Ah, oh, okay, it goes away. <laughs> I kind of like the dash. Yeah, it's very it's old nice. school Chevy. Yeah. So what engine is in here? It's a 5.3 uh, Vortec engine. Okay. They came with a 6 liter too, but I think that's only for the 2500 model. Can you LS swap it? 
I think they're very similar. It's basically an LS engine. It's very similar to an LS. They're based on the same design. I like I how the doors went on lock as soon as you uh, turned. Safety. Yeah, so but you, you should not be sticking your fingers between the windows that are closing. You children can be killed. I don't know if this has the window safety things. It doesn't because that's what it says here. Oh, okay. So I don't know. Maybe we can we can try it out. I mean, actually. yeah. I'm not you gonna stick my finger in there, but just put your head in. <laughs> you have a flashlight. I have a. It's a mag actually. The What's a mag? Mag mag light flashlight. So Americans know what it is. Why is it not? Well, it's not automatic. You hold light. this. Okay, I hold this. And I'm gonna put it in there. Oh. I think it's gonna. <laughs> I think your. It's if it's gonna be your children's <laughs> snack. You know, this is a family vehicle. If you don't like your children, <laughs> just. Like, pull your head out the window and then you just close the window. <laughs> That's why there's a warning system. Watch out, kids. Your peanuts might contain or have traces of nuts in there. <laughs> so, we're going to the ring, to the track. It's very comfortable, you know. Well, I must admit it is. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Tell you me. hear this? The engine runs. Not like Tom's, you know. <laughs> At least there's that. <laughs> Don't buy a Range Rover, guys. You only see them in dealerships or on the back of a tow truck? Well, yeah, in Russia we, we, we say the Range Rover is always driving either from or to the dealership. Yeah. Or a workshop. And mostly on a truck. Yeah. <laughs> I like the space in the back, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So, what's your, okay, now, oh. Airbag is not really safe. Anyway. Yeah, so this, oh, this is one thing. Um, if any Suburban and Tahoe owners know this, so the dashboard in these cracks all the time. Because Which the plastic, cracks? Uh, the, the, like the dashboard cracks it underneath. Cracks? Like on the... The whole thing cracks, yeah. So what people do is they just put like a overlay mat on it. Because if you replace it, it's going to crack again. So <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just Chevy It's a G-Wagon. <laughs> I mean, does a G-Wagon even have a dashboard? <laughs> I don't know, I've never been in one, so like, I don't know, I don't like him. You should have bought a G-Wagon, baby. Nah, <laughs> too small. Too small? You, got, you can't put a mattress in the back of the G-Wagon. I'm sure you can. Get, get a 6x6 six six then. Oof, you just oh, crop well. or what? <laughs> a 6x6, six <by> six, man. <laughs> oh, look, there's a last poor soul trying to get on the track, thinking that the track really? is open today. Hmm. That's usually what happens when people are just randomly there. Do you Wait, know uh, some off-roading tracks around here? Or? Uh, well, we can try the, uh, the, the parking? Yeah, yeah. parking, for starters. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, we're still on summer tires, but you'll be surprised. Well, there's only a bit of snow. Yeah. So. Let's see. <laughs> it yeah. is... Uh, can we go past Yeah, we that? can go to yeah, the okay. left. That'll be fine. We don't need to buy a lap ticket. We can just go through the gate, too, I mean. Uh, I don't think Never Cream will like it. Can you go off here, off the cliff? Or? Uh, I mean... Should work. I've never. I mean, we can try it. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty steep, Misha. I don't know. It is pretty steep. You <laughs> either go full lock to the right and then straight, or you. Do you think it's gonna work? Did... <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't feel right. Fuck. Should we go back? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know, Misha. <laughs> Now, if you go full straight, it should probably work. But full, straight, full, full, full up right, full up you right mean. and yeah. Okay, like lean to the left. Oh damn! Uh, All right, well we made it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So <laughs> I think we hit something underneath the car. I mean, so the ground clearance is not enough in these. That's. <laughs> think we lost something there? I don't know. Jesus. You wanna have a look? No, we're good, I think. I okay. don't want to know what fell off. Well, <laughs> in case today we learned that with the Suburban you can avoid the Nürburgring traffic jam whenever it's like <laughs> everyone's in line, you can just jump off the cliff. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty good at jumping off cliffs, so. You want to tell the story? <laughs> yeah, so I had an M5 and I basically was on a mountain pass in California. And I think it's the second highest highway in the in California. And I literally, well, I didn't see the corner and the brakes I think were pretty faded. So I basically shot over the cliff and rolled like 12 times. Mm -hmm. And the car was pretty... Can we insert some pictures? We can, we can yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> insert the pictures of how his M5 looked afterwards. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you 
clearly you got some practice of... Uh... Yeah, I mean, see, we made it this time. Oh, did, is it closed there? So I think we need to climb it back on as well. Well, that should be easier than getting off, right? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, um, the thing is closed there, so... Okay, let's see. Should I, I'm gonna film it from the outside. Okay, I think that. it's more fun. Yeah, let me go back. There you go. Oh no, child lock. Yeah, you can't. You should have to in park first. If your children are burning inside the vehicle, they might not be able to open <laughs> the thing. The door. Ready? Yeah, I'm good. Just send it. Um. <laughs> well, <laughs> you were almost good. You just I need think to... I need winter tires in this, man. And I think we're stuck. <laughs> nah, you'll be fine. It's four by four, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Stop. But we have to get back up here. Your bumper. <laughs> what? No, the whole bumper? <laughs> Almost the lip. Are oh, you kidding me, man? Oh, it's just the, no. This is just for aerodynamics. <laughs> I mean, this part always comes off. It's normal. This you don't need this, you know. <laughs> oh man, Misha, what did you get me into today here? Where's George? We need a mechanic here, Misha. I don't know how to He's get gonna, this. I'm gonna laugh my ass if you will require Tom Stamps range to pull you out. <laughs> oh no, come on, man. Don't say that. <laughs> I can also tell you that that part is more steep than that part, so let's try it over there. Ah, oh, great. I hate to say it, but I think you need to send it. It's gonna detach itself, but at least we're out of it. All right, guys, see, this is how you get a suburban back up the hill. Is the bumper still on or? Well, not really. Oh, it's gone now. Well, it's kind of stuck, but. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, I think this is, yeah, we have to do something about this, don't we? Oh, jeez. I mean, it's just the Chevy quality is really not all that great, I guess. Right. Hands are dirty, you know. Good job. Well, well I guess that concludes our today's <laughs> review. I don't even know what we tried to do, but if we wanted to show you Fabius' new car, go follow him I on mean, Instagram and ask him about his poor life decision. You hear this? The engine still runs. So, Tom, <laughs> just saying. Perfect. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>